Hi, I'm uh, Thomas Bacci. I'm from um, Switzerland and uh, I'm here in, in Arnhem Land that's in the north of Australia right at the top uh, in a place called Gove and uh, I'm in the role of chief engineer here so I look after the engineering team and we make sure that our planes are in tip-top condition. We see engineering as, as hugely critical as you can imagine. Like we fly in places where often there's no second option. So if something goes wrong with the planes, it becomes very difficult very quickly. So to, to do our job well is, is, is key. Uh, if we can maintain these aeroplanes in a way that is uh, safe for the pilots to operate, because you imagine each time they take off, they trust these planes with their lives and the lives of their passengers. So it's actually, a, a, I see it as a responsibility, I see it as a joy uh, to, to maintain this place to the best we can do and to uh, oversee the team here and to encourage them to do the same. Over the last 10 years, um, the aviation industry in the world has seen a shortage of engineers grow and grow and grow to the point now that in 2038, we're looking at being 760,000 engineers short around the world. And this is having a huge impact on MAF's ability to source engineers. Because of that, we're, we're really having to look now at our own engineering apprenticeship program and growing it uh, with a lot more intentionality. And that's because in reality, engineering is the backbone of what we do. We need to find people that are mission-hearted in the first place. And then we need to connect that, that mission heart with the technical trade that we need for the organisation. And we need to bring in apprentices that we are able to bring into the organisation and train them on the aircraft that we fly uh, and, and to the procedures that we operate by so that we can get the best people uh, in place to serve MAF going forward. And also we need apprentices that have a big vision for MAF, ones that are willing to travel to very remote, remote locations and serve God and serve MAF uh, in these places and it's really important that we find these people who are resilient, robust and really connected to the ministry of MAF all around the world.